Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the first tutorial in the series of tutorials on PHP and in this tutorial we are going to talk a bit about PHP, the programming language. We're going to check out some of its features and uh, then we're going to have a look at something called the request response cycle. And uh, in the next tutorial we are going to check out installation instructions to the software that we need to install on our systems to um, code in PHP and also test PHP code and then from the third tutorial onwards we're going to check out the you know uh, fundamentals of the programming language in detail. So uh, PHP is a server-side scripting language and it was created in the year 1994 by someone called Rasmus Ladoff and uh, the guy wanted to make a language to maintain his blog you know his personal home page so that's what PHP initially stood for the acronym PHP stood for personal home page now it stands for something like pre hypertext pre processor or something like that and you don't have to worry about the full form but uh, what you need to understand is that php was designed to make websites and that's what it is most popularly used for these days you can also make desktop applications in php and it's a very effective language for that purpose too but people mostly use php you know uh, to create websites and if you want to become a web developer and work with the uh, content management systems such as Joomla or Drupal, then it's very important for you to understand the basics of PHP. You know, you get the basics uh, in place and then from there you can build on using any of those content management systems. And uh, if I'm not wrong, I think even WordPress, uh, you know, uses PHP in the back end. So there are a lot of other websites that have been built in PHP like Facebook and I'm sure Yahoo uh, also has a lot of it built in PHP and uh, it's a very popular language and uh, the syntax of PHP is similar to the syntax of Perl and Java so if you've programmed in any of those languages before then it's going to be very easy for you to pick up PHP code and uh, even if you haven't programmed in those languages it's totally cool we're going to start from scratch and we're going to be really slow in the beginning and later on towards the end of the course we're going to check out some advanced concepts too and we're going to pick up pace there so now let's talk about something called the request response cycle. So this is what the request response cycle for PHP looks like. You know, you have a client which is uh, your browser and it could be any browser, you know, Firefox or Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, doesn't matter. And then you have uh, something called a server. So the server is uh, the place where all the web pages are stored and uh, the client requests the server for web pages and the server responds with you know the required web pages and uh, this the client unfortunately cannot understand php you know it can understand simple stuff like html and css or maybe you know some client side scripting languages like javascript but it cannot understand php so if a client requests for a page and if there is some php code in it then the server has to first translate that PHP code or pass that PHP code and it has to send HTML output to the client so that the client can understand and display it, right? And that's why the server is called the PHP guy. And uh, optionally, the server also interacts with the database. You know, if it is required, then some information is stored to the database and some information is fetched back from the database. And, uh, you know, the web pages are populated and sent to the client. And uh, in this course, we are going to use Apache as the web server. We are going to use MySQL as a database and the browser, as I said, could be any. And also the platform on which the browser is installed could be any. So, you know, if you are uh, watching this tutorial on Linux, you can install uh, the AMP uh, structure that is MySQL, PHP and Apache, Apache, MySQL and PHP uh, in that sequence uh, on Linux. You can install it on uh, Windows, you can also install it on Mac, but uh, I am using Windows currently. So uh, I'm going to discuss the installation instructions to install the VAMP stack, you know, which is Windows, Apache, MySQL and PHP. And, uh, you know, although this entire thing happens, uh, you know, at different places. So you have the client at your end and then there is a server which could be any, you know, at any place. I mean, you could be accessing a web page from China and the server could be in US. So, you know, the translation of PHP code happens in US and you see the output of it in China. But in this course, we'll have to create this entire framework on our systems so, so that we can develop PHP code locally. And uh, what I mean by that is we're going to have the client on our machine and also we're going to have the server on our machine. And that's why we're going to install Apache. It's going to do that job for us. And uh, we're also going to install the database uh, software MySQL, right? So, 
some of the most important features of PHP are that uh, PHP, as I said, is a cross-platform language. So, you know, whether you're developing or deploying your code on Windows or on Linux or on Mac, it doesn't matter. Your code is going to work just the same. And uh, the other good thing about PHP is that it's a very popular language and it has a very active developer community. So there is a lot of support available for PHP. And, you know, if there is something you want to find out about, then, then let's say you want to know about string functions in PHP, just make a Google search for it. And uh, you can go